Hello again, this is Mark Summers from Summers Technical Services. Uh, we're continuing on with our uh, shear moment diagram uh, computation using different uh, tools. So we've got hand calculations done, uh, doing it the traditional way and the way the textbook teaches it. And we did the SolidWorks uh, simulation and now we're going to try a new tool, software tool from Ingosol. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. E-N-G-I-S-S-O-L. It's a 2D static frame analysis tool that is uh, pretty powerful and it's pretty inexpensive. And uh, they got a demo version, so if you want to get a copy of that, let me know and I'll send you the link for that. Uh, but we'll do some simple two-dimensional beam modeling and be able to get those shear moment diagrams out. So let's get started. So here's the uh, interface, the program here. We've got an origin and we can define different material types and different beam uh, shapes within here but since we're just doing shear and moment diagrams and not deflections or stresses uh, we won't worry about that so I'm going to go set my grid the uh, units are set for metric units and here's our uh, beam uh, loading we're going to simulate so we've got a six meter long beam with a linearly varying load and a concentrated load over here. So uh, what I'll do is I'll set my grid to a half a meter because I want to have nodes so I can stop and start the beam uh, at these places where the load changes. So the first thing I'm going to do is go grab the, this button here, add frame element, and I'll just click, I'll start at the origin, and I'll click again, I'm going over here one, two, three meters for that first uh, load. I'll click here. So that made one beam. And I click again here and I want to uh, make the next beam. Oh, I guess I gotta click the beam button again. I'll go here to here. That's in one and a half meters. And then I'll do it third time and I'll make another little piece down here. One, two, three. And then I'll be done with that. So I got three beam elements. One of them is three meters long. The other two are one and a half meters long. <clears throat> okay, so now I'll, let me drag this over here. So now we need to put the uh, constraints on here. And so on the left hand side, I've got a, uh, drag this over here. I've got a hinge joint over here and I've got a roller joint over here. And so I'll just use these uh, <coughs> icons up here and find what I want here. So this looks like a hinge here. So I'll click that and drag him down here and click right there. So there's my hinge joint. And then here I need a uh, roller joint, horizontal roller. I'll drag him over here. So this is pretty easy. Now I want to add a vertical load. And where are those buttons at? Here we go, vertical nodal load. So click on that button, and the load is going to be minus, it's going down, so it's going to be minus 10 kilonewtons. And I will click here, this thing is right in my way here, isn't it? I lost that. Minus 10. And I'll place him right on that node right there. And now I need to have this linearly varying load. So here's a here's a uniform load. Try this one. Here's the beam I want it to be put on. And now I get this pop up. So I got to figure out what this is telling me here. So distance one from starting node. So maybe this is going to be zero. And then this will be one and a half. No, this will be three, because it starts at zero and goes to three. The starting load is going to be minus six kilonewtons per meter. And at load two, at the, at the end, three meters, it's going to go to zero. So let's see if that doesn't give me what I want. Hey, that looks like it. So it starts off at six kilonewtons per meter, and it goes down to zero after three. So there's my three, uh, or my, there's my, there's my setup for my problem. 
and then now they just click, click run analysis so that was fast I'll say close and it's giving me deflections which I don't really know uh, what my deflections are or I don't need to know because all I want to do is do shear moment diagram so here's the results tab and so I can ask for reactions and it's 10 kilonewtons on the left 9 kilonewtons on the right and if I remember correctly uh, that's exactly what we calculated earlier with our uh, free body diagram so yeah there's our 9 kilonewtons on the uh, right side and 10 kilonewtons on the left side and so there's those reactions so the reactions look good and now I can click over here and ask for the shear diagram and here we go it starts off at 10 it's got that curve it takes it down to 1 stays constant at 1 and it jumps up to 9 Similar to our SOLIDWORKS uh, simulation, it's given us uh, the convention is backwards. In other words, the positive is minus and minus is positive. So if we look at the picture here, it's just going backwards. It's negative 10 here, positive 10 here, but the picture is correct. So it's got that curve going down to 1, stays constant at 1, and has an abrupt change from plus 1 to minus 9 where I've got that concentrated load and sure enough yeah it goes from 1 to 9 stays constant at 9 and it goes back to 0 so it looks like it got the shear diagram correct and then we can go down to the last point here this is the bending moment diagram and sure enough yeah except for the positive and negative convention which has got an opposite values or opposite signs than my convention but it starts at 0 it goes up this curve until it gets to 12 Sure enough, there it is. It curves and goes to 12 and a straight line to 13 and a half. And then it goes straight down to zero. So it looks like it's given us the, uh, the correct answers here. So this is much quicker than the SOLIDWORKS simulation for simple beams. And if we're just looking for shear moment diagrams and or deflections and reactions, this will give us reactions also like we saw. So this is a, this is a very useful tool. Uh, for shear moment diagrams and maybe even more useful than SOLIDWORKS. So anyway, that's another example of a good software tool to use to do in these to do these uh, shear moment diagrams. So that's all for now and we'll see you in the next video.